Hello, Rob here from Flanagan Homestead. Uh, I am here to urge you to beware of your brand new Iron Bull trailer if you buy one. And I want to be clear from the beginning, I am not bad mouthing the product, and I'm not one that has one bad instance and, and wants to broadcast the world they're terrible. I'm not saying they're terrible, but I, I had something happen that I made me realize I need to be more cautious, and I want you to be cautious and check things out before you get going. So, uh, if you've been following my channel, I bought a new 35G uh, John Deere excavator. Love it. Uh, been doing work on my property here uh, that I'm developing on the campground and just the multiple things I've been able to do it with it. Uh, fantastic. So I wanted to buy an Iron Bull trailer, which I believe is a good trailer, uh, that is a 14,000 pound. I could put my excavator in it, take it to my other property, or take it to uh, off-site job, maybe start doing side jobs, get the excavator out, load up dirt, rock, or whatever, haul it away in the trailer, come back, pick up my excavator. Uh, want to be able to move my excavator around because my home property is very hilly and needs work too. So, but anyway, I picked up my trailer, very first day, and I'm driving along, pulls pretty easy. I pull up to the roundabout, and I'm not going fast, but uh, maybe a little slightly faster than I should have been and somebody that I thought was coming out of the roundabout came through so I hit the brakes. My analog brakes start hitting and my trailer, empty trailer mind you, pushes me right into the intersection and uh, fortunately it wasn't so far that I made contact, the other guy swerved and, and missed. And so I, I went and I checked out the brakes. Uh, obviously a tra uh, trailer of this size should have trailer brakes. And so I, I changed the gain on the truck. We'll look at that. I did other things. I said, I'm pretty sure this isn't working really well. Uh, I can adjust the brakes or whatever, even though they say they don't do, and, and try to do it. But it's like, wait a minute, this is a brand new trailer. I shouldn't have to do this. I took it back to where I bought it. And, and it's a friend of mine that actually runs uh, the dealership there. He checked it out and he even pulled the emergency brake and everything. He's like, you're right. These brakes are not working. And he said, uh, as a matter of fact, a couple weeks ago I sold another one of these iron bulls and the guy started getting down the highway and he called me before he got home and said these brakes aren't working and he brought it back and they took it to a mechanic here in town to have it fixed. So I, I just brought it back, had the mechanic fix it and now I have uh, my trailer working. I still am a little hesitant on whether the brakes are working well enough but they are definitely working more. But this is the thing. Uh, yes, they can fix it. Yes, they can make it work. But I, I told my friend, I'm concerned about this because I bought this trailer expecting to put, be able to put my excavator in it and be able to drive and be safe. And I live on very hilly property. I don't know if you can see many of the hills here, but I live on very, very hilly property. If I had put my excavator in and was before realizing my brakes weren't any good and I was going down a, a steep hill because we have some pretty steep grade up here and I tried to hit the brakes and it didn't work and only my truck brakes were working I, and if I jackknifed or it forced me through an intersection or something it would have been really bad news. So um, again I do not want to bad mile somebody's product when I've just had one but uh, like I said uh, my friend said that he had a couple iron bowls that this happened to recently uh, both of them were sent to a shop, fixed on their dime, not mine, which I appreciate that. But uh, be, uh, so I've been testing my <clears throat> brakes out here uh, on the roads, you know, picking up speed when no one's around, try, seeing how fast I could decelerate, but that was an empty trailer. And uh, what I'm going to do and what I'd recommend to you too, and this is wise on any equipment that you get that's new equipment that's maybe heavier than used to, when I get that excavator in there, I'm going to slowly you know try a little bit of speed and brake and see what happens try a gradual hill brake and see what happens and if everything's good try to go a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more until i'm confident that it's going to work uh, and that's something i'd recommend for you to do as well i will tell you you know when you pinch the uh, brake controllers that's inside the truck it's supposed to lock up pretty good and the first time i went out in a gravel road and I was just uh, coasting, no gas pedal or anything, and I pinched that, and it didn't slow down my truck at all. I was, didn't have any, my foot on the gas, I'm on level ground, just coasting, didn't slow it down. Uh, so obviously it wasn't working well at all. Uh, I do that now, I did that now after they fixed it, and I pinched the brake controller, and, and it 
very uh, apparently slowed down the truck, but not, not as much as I would actually like. So anyway, I like that uh, my Iron Bowl trailer. We're gonna make sure that the brakes are working. I'm not trying to bad mouth the product. I'm just saying, if you get this trailer or any other trailer, I would recommend uh, building up, checking things out, making sure that your truck and your trailer can handle the weight of what you're trying to do. Here I'm pinching the controllers, the brake controllers, and it's supposedly turning the brakes on completely. Minus gain, plus gain. And once again, thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching included horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon. Please comment, like, subscribe. Everything helps the channel.